Right, in this video I'd just like to show you some new tools that I've got for the Chinese mini lathe and the Myford ML7 and to go in my um, collet chuck um, tool post system tools that you can actually use preset so you can save a lot of time having a drill, centre drills or milling um, end mill set up in the ER11 collet chucks or even an ER16 um, or an ER20. So I used to just buy the ER11 collet chucks because they had this 150mm long 8mm shaft on which would go directly into my um, tool post drill. But since then I've found these here on Banggood. Um, these are ER16. Um, they have an 8mm hole in the back and a couple of grub screws on the side so you can actually lock it onto a bar. I buy um, ground stainless steel bar and cut that to length and then I can have the 150mm long or whatever length I like on the back of these um, locked onto the um, ER chuck there like that with the um, two uh, grub screws like I say. Then I can use like I say preset tooling not only that, I can actually use these um, preset tools in my um, ER32 collet chuck with the MT2 taper on the um, tailstock. So I can put this in the tailstock here and quickly slide these into an 8mm collet and use them like that. And that saves a considerable amount of time than having to set each tool up on its own. So like I said, you can get all these um, different collet chucks with this um, back part on with the 8mm hole here. I did find that the 8mm hole was a bit too tight for this um, the ground stock. This is exactly 8mm and when I came to push them through they were too tight to fit so I just quickly took them out on the Myford, put them in the chuck and um, drilled that out with a cobalt drill. These are hardened tool steel so obviously you need a nice hard drill. Use cobalt drills and it will go nicely through without any problems and I'll just show you that now on the Myford. Right to drill these out first of all take the two small grub screws out the side and use a cobalt drill if you can because this is hardened tool steel. There's no need to take the front off because the diameter there is larger than the um, drill size. So I can put it straight into the chuck and drill through. And it doesn't matter about clocking it in either because the um, drill will follow the already machined hole. that one's absolutely perfect. I think it's just a burr really on the back edge of the bore that's causing it to be undersized.
So I did the same with all these. Um, they were all a little tight and they did vary a bit and like you saw in that last one, that one was a little bit tighter than the um, first one that I drilled, so they do vary a bit. I did the same with the ER32 collet chuck um, here and um, just put this up in the drawers and drilled through um, either way and the 8mm drill hole followed the hole that was already in there so um, the bar then goes right the way through so I can use the um, ER collet chucks with the bar on the back here in that one like I say in the tail stock but I can also put these up in the um, jaws you can actually hold on the 8mm bar if you want to or on the diameter here so you could actually use the drills um, in the chuck. And like I say, I find it an excellent system having all my favourite tools set up. I can quickly pick them up. Um, it's much quicker to load them up into the ER32 for the um, tail stock rather than having to take out um, a collet each time. You have them all preset. And I've just saved my um, favourite tools as I go until I've got them all set up. And then I can even make a rack up for these to drop in so that I can quickly pick them up when I need them.